Hi and welcome to my channel. This is part two of the Asuka Shirin Firefly build. In this video, I'll be painting the kit using the Vallejo paint modulation set 78407. All the information on the set is on the screen now. There's quite a large amount of metal parts on this kit, including the gun barrel and some photo etch. So I'll be priming these before painting with Mr. Metal Primer. It's a liquid primer which is brush applied. Just avoid getting on the plastic areas. It helps the paint stick to the metal and prevents it from coming off as easily. Now for the priming. I don't normally post shade my kits, but I thought I'd give it a go this time. I'm using black, grey, then I'll be tinting the grey with a little bit of yellow for the extreme highlights. I use quite a low pressure, making sure I get the black paint, which is obviously for the shadows in all the crevices, and then move on to the higher areas using the grey, and the even higher areas using a little bit of yellow in the grey. It's important to get into all the cracks, but it's also important to use a low pressure so you don't flood the surface with the paint. To save as much detail as I can on the kit, I don't paint the entire kit black first. I just use the appropriate colours in the appropriate areas. I also do a small amount of pre-streaking using a bit of modulation on the sides of the tank because I normally do this stuff with oil paints, but I just thought it would give it a little bit of a boost, so I thought I'd give it a go, see how, see how it works out. Here I'm adding the yellow primer to the kit. I was a little unsure about this, to be quite honest, but the end result was quite good, and every little helps, I guess. It was a bit of an experiment, it, and it worked out. I like to pick out the little details like the, the circles on, I presume they're vents, but just picking out the centre of them on the top so when you paint it with a green you get a, a big contrast between that and the hull and also where the shadows will be so you get quite a large contrast just to give the kit a bit of character. With the pre-shading as well as with the, the actual paint modulation make sure you get under the, the turret and also make sure you get all around the gun barrel with the highlight color being on the top and it really really boosts the look of the tank it's just important to make sure you, you do cover all the areas that you think you can't see next I move on to the paint the first colour I use is camo black green which is 70018. I thin this down, I don't know, roughly probably 50-50 paint thinners and I do this so that I don't cover the entire, all the pre-shading isn't covered with the paint so the pre-shading shows through otherwise there's no point doing this. I do this to all the paints that I use on this kit, well generally I do it to all the paints I use. I use between 20 and 15 psi and it's a hardened Steinbach evolution silver line uh, airbrush with a 0.2 nozzle i start at the bottom of the tank so that i can make sure the paint's working okay i also have some paper on the side so i can check make sure the flow is good when i change colors i try and use it as little color as possible in the paint cup so that it avoids me having to put the color back into the the pot then i change the color spray onto the paper and then continue to spray until I can see a colour change. 
as I'm working through the colours, the second colour, which is bronze green, which is 702250, so sorry, bronze green 70250, work through the colours, getting higher and higher. I don't use any of the second highlight on the running or on the underneath of the tank. I move on to the top as I go through the colours. I use less and less paint and avoid the darker areas so you get quite a stark contrast and it's modulated so that the higher the tank you get you increase the angle you're spraying at which helps prevent the lighter paints getting into the shadow areas or all the seams you just want to get a nice modulation so the higher up you go the lighter the colour which gives the tank real depth and makes it look heavy again trying not to cover up this, all the subsequent, subsequent colours and the modulation trying to just keep the modulation coming through from the bottom from the pre-shading but as I say I always mix the paints let them down quite a lot and use quite a low pressure when I've finished the highlighting with all four colours the last two colours aren't actually in the Vallejo range they're just in this paint set but when I have I'm happy with the modulation I take a very small amount of the lightest colour about 5% and add thinners to it to about 95% and reduce the pressure from the airbrush down and from a big from quite a big distance I do a mist coat over the entire top area of the kit which helps to bring in the modulation it brings all the colours together just do this to make it 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 just brings all the colours together the tank looks very stark at this point but it needs to have a lot of contrast for the subsequent weathering layers because it will tone it down quite a lot if you're still not happy with the paint after you've done a, a little bit of weathering you can tone it down again by doing this highlight if you put some of the colour in just make like an acrylic mist and just bring the colours down but the end result I'm always worried at this point because the, the kit does look very very stark but once you've done everything you are going to do to it it will look a lot better it will look really, really good when it's finished you just need a lot of contrast to pull off the effects that you use on it subsequently but I was happy with the result it's a bit of a I've never done this colour before I normally just use olive crab even on English tanks but this I like this colour it's, it's a nice colour and it looks quite good at the end I think here you see me using up the remainder of the paint that I've got in the, in the colour cut there's not a lot left I've used it on the bottom of the tank and also I'm spraying it on the paper to get the, the register for the colour change to make sure that it does actually start flowing through before I use the next colour I enjoyed painting this, this kit with this paint set it was uh, it was good I'm going to do some brush highlights which I'll need to mix their lighter colour up I'll just do some highlights on the panel edges and some grab handles it's quite hard to do brush highlights because of the modulation along with doing paint chipping but I can use the the same colour just line it a little bit I normally use a wet palette so you get a good choice of colours so you can always see it and if you if the colour is slightly different or there's quite a lot of tonal difference in the colours it just gives a bit more of a three dimensional look but they've got a nice I've got a nice streaking effect on the side of the tank which would be good for the streaking afterwards with oils and I'm overall happy with the with the outcome it was a good paint set and I've like I say I've used different ones before but they are they are good not to be confused with colour sets they do modulation sets and colour sets the colour sets are for a specific time period and tank for example they do um they do one for american armor in europe and africa between 1943 1942 and 1945 which is set number 71625 but it's actually paint colors used for the camouflage not modulation sets and those paints and those sets are actually full size paints that you can get from the range whereas the ones in the modulation sets are smaller bottles of paint and you can't get all the colours in the normal Vallejo range
And here's where I start applying the, the mist coat on top to bring all the colours together and make the modulation flow better, just finishes off the tank nicely and allows you a good base for the weathering effects afterwards, protects the paint. But yeah, it just brings all the colours together. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I've got some photos of the finished tank at the end here. Um, thanks for watching. Please feel free to leave a comment, like or subscribe. And the next video will be applying just the dirt effects to this kit, which will be out in about seven days. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you later. Thanks. Bye.